on the computer and I'm going to go live on Facebook. So for those of you who are with us, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have got to go through the process of getting us on the group. Because we're going live in the group. And I'm going to come over here and make sure that we are going live. So title is Master Class Starting. And I'm going to go live and let's see when we are Hi. Technology, gotta love it. Gotta not always know what's going on. Let's make sure, there we are. We are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our master class that will teach you how to double profitability with the secret real estate niche that makes you money while making a difference. I just need to get on a different screen. One moment, please. We are playing with technology. Okay, how to double profitability with the secret real estate niche that makes you money while making a difference. Welcome and thank you for joining me. And I can't wait to spill the beans because I'm that kind of girl. <laughs> but first, look, we all know that there's something here to sell, right? So let's get right to the nitty gritty. What I'm selling you is the opportunity of a lifetime with the potential to achieve success and financial freedom and create a lasting legacy. At the end of this webinar, this master class, you'll have two options. The first being to enroll in the cert certification class only, and uh, which is a three hour live Zoom. You'll take the class, you'll have unlocked the secret, and you'll have learned the ins and outs of charitable real estate. And maybe that's enough for you. Maybe you have a superpower like mine and all you need is to take the class and blast off. If so, awesome. But for those of you who would rather have like the full enchilada, the full business development element handled, handed to you on a silver platter, well, Let's talk about how we can do that. Seriously, within 30 days of the class, you can have a pipeline started, if not all, also a transaction already under contract. If that's what you're looking for, then you'll want to enroll in the full certification course. This is the business element that I have developed and that I will help you implement. And here's the beauty of this. This is how you can take this class for free. My partners believe so completely in what we've created that whether you elect to take just the class or the full course, they will give you a bonus at the close of your first charitable real estate transaction, the bonus amounts to the enrollment fee. So this is truly the opportunity for you to take this for free, whether it's just the class or the course, you'll get it back. Plus, we're offering a 30 day guarantee. So if you follow the course to a T and you're not satisfied with the impact it's having on your development as a charitable real estate specialist, then you'll get your money back. No questions asked. Okay, so there you have it. We're offering a basic class and a full course, a 30 day money back guarantee and returning the investment in full with the close of your first charitable real estate transaction. This is one instance where the saying, no risk, no reward, simply isn't the case. Now, sit back and let me tell you all about the secret niche and how you can double your profitability, become the 1%, and become the hero your community needs. So, the conversation started this way. My old friend Jim said, I have 41 offices and 900 plus realtors. What's this secret niche all about? And I said, it's about connecting with the right people, kind of like right now with us getting reconnected. See, Jim is an old friend of mine whose agents I had taught prospecting to years prior. 
He saw my post on Facebook about charitable real estate and it intrigued him, so he reached out. I shared the highlights with him about charitable real estate and we were both grinning ear to ear across the table at lunch as he had his own epiphany, the same one I had had a year earlier. See, a year earlier, I was frustrated and uninspired. I had been partnering with real estate companies, dozens of nonprofits, large and small, and hundreds of Main Street USA businesses to collaborate and leverage cause marketing campaigns. We all were making money and making a difference, and it's, but it, it just seemed small to me compared to what we could do. I wanted to have more impact. I wanted to help these businesses and nonprofits to generate more resources and relationships with the right people and generating more revenue because of it. I wanted to know that my actions in my business were actually serving people at the highest level I wanted to feel like I was doing everything I could at the ripe old age of 51 to truly leave a legacy. <clears throat> I was at a conference when the presenter talked about charitable real estate. Now, the transactional piece of it all made sense, yet it was the implementation and execution of how this would open doors and create unique sales propositions and finally be a way for both my company and all the others I served to truly make money, making a difference. <laughs> that is what struck me. <clears throat> Who could I engage in conversation with about this? And what would those conversations lead to? Who could all my realtor friends meet and mingle with as a result of this unique icebreaker? Eight billion dollars a year. Really? That much a year already went to nonprofits for real estate donations? Why had I never heard of it? The concept of charitable real estate is really quite simple. And so is the reason 99% of people have never heard of it. And so is the reason that property donors are wanting to donate property every day. The concept of charitable real estate is super easy to comprehend. And soon you'll be hearing about that part more and more because as we share this good news, other trainers will jump on board. As with anything else, there will be copycats. However, we have the double profitability twist that no one else will ever have. See, listing and liquidating to give the nonprofits the donations, the donations from the liquidation is easy. It's elementary. However, the business development element, how to leverage and leave a lasting legacy, the strategy of how to make money while making a difference, that, my friend, is the superpower you acquire as a real agent of change. It's kind of like right now with you watching this masterclass and all the other agents of change who have already joined forces with us, like my friend and longtime client, Michael Deshavi, who was the very first real agent of change to get excited about getting certified. He said, to, he said <clears throat> excuse me, I've known Cami for more than 12 years. Anything she does is groundbreaking. I moved back to Brooklyn where my real estate license is just because of this brilliant strategy. See, you are all here on this master class because this is a different conversation. This is intriguing. It is a unique sales proposition for me, for you, and for the nonprofits that can now grow by five times their current size without even adding a new donor to their list. How is that possible, you ask? Well, I'm getting ready to show you right here and right now how you can double your profitability, not just from the listings that are property donations. And by the way, we pay a full commission for you to list and liquidate them, but also because of this trademarked business development element that we provide to leverage charitable real estate in your positioning partnering and promoting.
Now warning, this will be a blessing for some and a curse for others. I guarantee you do not know what I'm getting ready to share with you. And because you cannot unlearn it, frankly, if you are not an action taker, ready to walk your talk and step into your ability to truly serve and support who you say you're here to help, then this is your warning to go back to donating $100 at the closing table and sitting on fundraiser committees as your way of being a contribution. You know, the ones where everyone consoles one another about how much the people and planet and pets need help. And the conversation revolves around, what are we gonna do? How do we bring in funds? The animals need us. Now, circumstances around giving are just out of our control. Events are getting canceled. People don't have the cash to give. And in all fairness, it's not your fault that everyone has been so frustrated. Hey, look, I've been there too, on committees who have nothing but the best of intentions, yet are at the mercy of these circumstances. I am so grateful that I found this way to fund nonprofits just before the pandemic. I will never be in those conversations again about what to do with events being canceled or suffering from low attendance. And you, your nonprofit friends and your community never need to be there again either. This really is a blessing for those who take action and quite literally start to make money making a difference as a real agent of change. Like Jessica Peterson, who is a true superhero, taking a stand and introducing us to so many others like her. However, as I mentioned, it can also most definitely be a curse, a curse for those who learn what they cannot unlearn. They will know that this is the beginning of a movement that is funding nonprofits by the billions and doubling profitability for our real agents of change. But they are cynical. They are the ones who sit back on their laurels waiting to see what will happen. They will feel absolutely sick to their tummies when they watch you handing big checks to dozens of nonprofits and smiling in front of the cameras as you are interviewed and get free PR from all these massive donations, smiling all the way to the bank because of all the resources, relationships, and revenue you generate. You see, there are three secrets I'm gonna share with you that will make what I mentioned earlier very clear. I mentioned that the concept of charitable real estate donating is quite simple and it will be easy to understand the reason that you've never heard of it and it will be super easy to understand the reason property owners are trying to donate property. They're trying to donate property to nonprofits every week. Okay, you've been warned. If you're still with me, here we go. Here are the three secrets I'll be sharing with you. Secret number one, why the secret real estate niche that is funding nonprofits by the billions has been kept a secret and how your superpower can unlock this secret in your market. Secret number two, why generous property donors have been reaching out to nonprofits to give their property away. Secret number three, how realtors, real estate offices, and real estate companies can quite literally double profitability from the positioning, partnering, and promoting of charitable real estate as a specialty. Let's get started. Secret number one, why the secret real estate niche that is funding nonprofits by the billions has been kept a secret and how your superpower can unlock this secret in your market. There are three stakeholders or important players that are absolutely mandatory for a charitable donation of real estate to go down. First is the property donor. Second is the realtor. Third is the nonprofit. The first stakeholder is the property donor. Now, obviously a piece of real estate is required to have a donation in this conversation. And we will discuss in secret number two, why they are wanting to donate. 
The second stakeholder is the realtor. When property is donated, it's kind of like hot potato. The very first thing that needs to happen is to list and liquidate it. This is not about donating property for the nonprofit to own, manage, or move into. The nonprofit is so far removed from these transactions, they don't even need to know the address. That's super important. The good news with us as your partners in this process is that the realtors we work with get paid a full commission. No negotiating, not even any competition. You are the listing agent when you are a real agent of change. Here's a testimony from one of the realtors who has leveraged our team. Tina Ford is with Caldwell Banker, and she said, I love knowing that the proceeds from the sale were going to help nonprofits and having an unemotional seller who pays a full commission and is easy to work with was icing on the cake. Okay, so we have generous property owners who are looking to donate property. We have realtors who are getting exactly what they want when they list and liquidate the property. They get a full commission. There's no competition. They support the nonprofits they love. So what's the big deal? Why isn't this being taught in real estate schools nationwide? Well, it soon will be by us, but here is why it hasn't been taught like this to realtors or financial service providers or estate planners or any number of dozens of other advisors who should be advising their clients who own property and would benefit from this knowledge. Here's why. The third stakeholder is the nonprofit. Seems simple enough that the last side of the triangle of trust, those who stand to benefit the most would be the most excited about it. However, when property owners offer to donate any real estate, whether it is their primary residence, second home at the lake, the investment property they own, or even land, the simple fact is more than 99% of nonprofits say no. It is the nonprofits themselves that have stopped this from happening. However, it is not their fault. There are many reasons why they are saying no to these property donations. We will go over all of these in the certification class so that you truly are a charitable real estate specialist who understands how this works. Now, I'm sure you are as baffled by this as I was. Why would anyone say no to the financial benefit of being gifted real estate? Well, here are two key issues that we can go over today. We'll save all the rest for when you're part of the certification class. The first issue is actually a threefold or trifecta. They do not have the staff, the manpower, the knowledge, or the budget for this type of donation. Even if you, a seasoned professional real estate agent, are on their advisory board, this type of donation requires not only tax law knowledge and specific experience, it also requires capital. The majority of these donations are not 100% equity. There are mortgages to be paid off, expenses, holding costs, and sometimes the donor even wants cash out of the transaction. Did I just say the property donor can get cash and not donate all of the value of the property? Why, yes, I did. The property donor can get cash out too. It's called a bargain sale, and we go over all of it in detail, yep, in the certification class. This can all be thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars. And even the largest nonprofit in the United States, Fidelity Charitables, who bring in several billion a year themselves, don't do these transactions. Even they use our team to get the transactions done. Our team also does this kind of transaction for the National Charitable Endowment Foundation and American Endowment Foundation. Now, this is what Laura Maloney said and when I interviewed her 
from American Endowment Foundation. She said, we accept all kinds of non-cash assets, including stocks, businesses, and real estate, to name a few. When it comes to real estate, we leverage a third-party expert. It wouldn't make sense to facilitate something we are not experts at. Now, this comes from Laura Maloney, the VP of American Endowment Foundation, who heads up the team that accepts complex assets and who manages $3.4 billion. The second issue is mission drift. What? What does that mean? There are 1.3 million nonprofits in this country, each with their own mission and reason for existing. There is a tiny handful, less than 30 we know of, who have a real estate department. If any of the other 1.3 million were to accept real estate, it would have them drift from their main mission by pulling them off their number one priority, which is to serve those who they are here to serve. For example, Girl Scouts mission is to build girls courage, confidence and character to make the world a better place. Girl Scouts have received checks from our team that resulted from real estate donations. University of California, San Francisco's core mission is to advance health worldwide by raising money for the university. Our team has funded them. We Don't Waste is an initiative food recovery 501c3. Their mission states, we support the community and the environment by reclaiming and redistributing quality food to those in need. Yes, they have benefited from our team's ability to facilitate charitable gifting of real estate. You see, we have the system and the team that allows for any and all 501c3s to benefit from real estate donations with no risk, no fundraising, no out-of-pocket expense. Remember, they are so far removed from the transaction, they don't even need to know the address. You will learn all about this in the certification class. Dangle, dangle, fun, big, juicy carrot, come this way to be a real agent of change. Oh, and as far as how your superpower can unlock this secret in your market, whether you're a great writer and prefer to communicate with the written word, or you are a fabulous talker and you love to have face-to-face -face communication, or maybe you're like me and like to play in the spotlight and would love to be in front of the cameras, being interviewed or speaking on local stages, our system will guide you on how to leverage yourself in whatever way is the most organic for you. The way our proven system works, within 30 days, that's right, 30 days, you will have people talking about your new specialty, people introducing you around because of this unique topic, more than enough high net worth property owners and struggling nonprofits and concerned visionary community leaders, all of them wanting to know you and what you're doing and how you can serve the community. We guarantee there will be people and property in the pipeline or your money back. Can you see it now? Your superhero cape flowing in the wind behind you. Or maybe you are more of the Clark Kent type and like to keep a low profile, you know, mild mannered or Hugh Man of Steel. Either way, we got you covered. This topic, this superpower is so yummy. It just isn't hard to leverage it when you have a team of superheroes like us pointing you in the right direction. So here's secret number two. Why generous property donors have been reaching out to nonprofits to give their property away. Give a property away? Well, who ever heard of such a thing? Well, Considering that $8 billion last year is, was currently funding nonprofits from charitable gifting of real estate, there are lots of people who have heard of it. 
kind of like when I was in real estate and a friend of mine called me and said this, my daughter owes more on her house than it's worth. I need you to help her. And I said, what the hell do you want me to do with that? And she said, there was something called a workout department at the bank or a short sale back in the 80s. She said, you should look into it. Now, I am not even kidding you when I tell you, when I looked up short sale, the only thing, the only thing that came up in a Google search around the year 2007 was that Victoria's Secrets was having a sale on shorts. I have said thousands of times, if I knew then what I knew a couple of years later, I would have bought all the domain names, shortsales.com, how to do a shortsale.com, et cetera. Well, guess who has charitable gifting of real estate.com, tax benefits of donating real estate.com, the secret niche.com, and more. The only difference here is this. Donating real estate is not a new concept. It's been happening since 1917, when the United States government wanted to encourage philanthropy and began giving unprecedented tax benefits to those who donate property to a 501c3. In fact, non-cash assets is the largest growing way to fund nonprofits. Eight billion a year is already donated and as Russell James, PhD professor of Texas Tech says, cash is not king when it comes to fundraising. So it's not new, but just like short sales or any other concept that is new to the general public, there are pioneers, trailblazers, and real agents of change who are part of the shift in how things are done. Are you a trailblazer? When it comes to the donors, I've had the blessed opportunity to interview lots of people that make up the triangle of trust. And here is one of my favorite property donors. Bob Tate is a multiple property donor with philanthropic intention. He said, I am very passionate about these nonprofits and wanted to do more. My rental properties had appreciated significantly causing large tax implications. It just made sense to make the donations both for the tax advantages and to provide to the land conservatory the funds they needed for a specific project. I have also designated other properties from my portfolio to donate as well. Here's the 80-20 rule of property donors. The fact is 80% of clients that our team has worked with, donate properties for altruistic reasons. They are just like Bob Tate. They not only say they care about nonprofits, they do something to be a part of the solution. Sure, Bob could just sit on fundraising committees and complain about the plight of the nonprofit in this space and time of COVID, but Bob is a real agent of change. He walks his walk he talks his talk, and I respect that. This next gentleman tells his story better than I can. Wayne Javelli is a financial advisor, fundraiser, and advocate for the MS Society. He told me in an interview I did with him, my wife was diagnosed with MS 30 plus years ago and has been extremely active with fundraising campaigns. Because of this long active history, we are well connected to the higher ups of the MS Society. They have shared with us that the phone rings on a weekly basis with generous donors wanting to donate real estate, but they were not able to accommodate these donations, not until we introduced them to your team, Realty Gift Fund. The MS Society is just one of thousands of nonprofits who have historically turned down real estate but have become part of the awakening. Here is a short list of some others that our team has given checks to for over $100,000 and more. St. Elizabeth's Shelter, the National Jewish Health Federation, Fidelity Charitables. You can go to realtygiftfund.org for a full list. 
of lots of other nonprofits that we've given checks to. The average donation from a gift of real estate is $550,000 according to aefonline.org and 700,000 is the average according to ccim.org, which is the commercial board of realtors. And since that is only the equity part, if the equity is only 50% of the sales price of these properties, you do the math. How much is that to you at 6% commission? Whereas 80% donate for altruistic reasons, the other 20% of these donations come from people who are just flat out smart. They want the strategic tax benefits and estate planning vehicle that cannot be gotten any other way than these donations, which are no capital gains tax for one, leveraging the appraised value as the basis for their tax deduction, regardless of sales price for another. There are way more of these to learn about in the upcoming Charitable Real Estate Specialist Certification class that is exclusively taught by, yep, you got it, yours truly, and the experts that I vetted this past year. Okay, Cami, I get it. I, as a real estate agent, get paid a full commission and don't compete for the listing. People want to donate real estate because they're good people and they're smart people. Nonprofits have very understandable roadblocks for accepting real estate donations, but you have a way to help them with no risk to them and no need to do traditional fundraisers. But this whole double profitability thing, you got to do better to sell me on that because I ain't buying it. All right. Let's get into secret number three, how realtors, real estate offices, and real estate companies can quite literally double profitability from the positioning, partnering, and promoting of charitable real estate as a specialty. Now, remember me telling you where I was one year prior to having that lunch with Jim, the 900 agent broker owner. Well, not only did I stumble upon this ability to fund nonprofits by the billions, not only did I learn why none of us know about it, and I learned how $8 billion a year is already being donated from real estate, I also learned this, that I needed a third-party 501c3 or specialized nonprofit to send my students, my clients, my certified specialists to, to do all the heavy lifting. And as you can see from the videos, interviews, and resources, the specialized nonprofit that is part of our team is Realty Gift Fund. Realty Gift Fund helped me create the certification class. They teach it with me. And if you were to reach out to them, they would say, so awesome that you want to do this with us. We have created a certification class. It's the first step to getting the information in only four hours instead of the year that it took Cami, <laughs> I asked Bruce Geis at Realty Gift Fund, why after meeting dozens of others who have offered to partner with them, why Realty Gift Fund said yes to me? And he said, when we met you, Cami, we realized we're not the best at building a network of real estate professionals who can earn more, expand their influence with high net worth clients and make a difference by joining the cause. We value you as best in class at creating this network, sharing the knowledge and making it relevant to America's top brokers. It was Bruce from Realty Gift Fund who truly inspired me to create the course, not just the class because of our conversations. Now, just like my lunch with Jim that day, who saw all kinds of ways to create thousands of leads regardless of property donations, and yes, we teach you that too, just like that conversation, I already had literally a laundry list of ways to meet and mingle with the right people because of charitable real estate. 
in speaking with my better resource friends at Realty Gift Fund, who each have 30 years experience in commercial real estate and philanthropy, and who have been perfecting this business model for years, in spending months together, I learned what the bottleneck is. During our conversations, it became really clear that the reason they were not doing more transactions themselves is because they have been, been being reactive regarding transactions, and I was talking about being proactive. Bruce told me that people's biggest question is, how do I talk to people about this? Okay, I want you to put a pin in that for just a moment. We're gonna come back to how do I talk to people about this? But first, let me explain what I mean by reactive versus proactive. See, reactive is an action in response to events rather than acting first. Proactive is acting in anticipation of future problems, needs, or changes. Reactive versus proactive, kind of like in the book, The Parable of the Pipeline by Burke Hedges. The book speaks of an ancient time when a village that was far away from the water source needed bucket carriers to go fetch water and bring to the community the water they needed on demand. In the story, there were two young men who were carrying buckets of water a long distance from the water source. They were reacting to the need for buckets of water. As people would need buckets of water, they would walk miles to the source and carry back two buckets at a time, acting in response to a need. But one day, one of the young men realized that he could create a way for the water to flow to the village where the people needed it. He realized that they could be proactive in anticipation of the future need of more and more water. He could see that two buckets at a time simply would not satisfy the need of the village. He also wanted to ensure that the village would have all the water they needed long after he was gone. He was visionary and cared about the people of the village. Not everyone understood why he was putting in so much effort to build the pipeline. They could not see the potential for the pipeline that would eventually be an endless overflow of the life-giving water. He was visionary. He was proactive and willing to do the work in anticipation of the needs, changes, and demands of the people who didn't know how to go get the water. The pipeline we are creating are the real agents of change. The people who need what we have are the 1.3 million nonprofits in this country that are dying of thirst. The water in this analogy that we are providing is the funding that the nonprofits need. And we do it through charitable real estate donations. We are providing the supply of funding they need to sustain their existence. See, the deals that have been done up until now have been one bucket at a time. And even though there have been millions of dollars provided by our team and hundreds of people involved in making it happen, it has all been reactive, one bucket at a time which has been a beautiful effort on everyone's part. And it just goes back to our favorite motto, do what you do best, refer the rest. What Realty Gift Fund does best is facilitate these transactions like no one else. They are the resource of the funding. They are the water that has been drawn upon one bucket at a time. What Cami Baker, the agent of change, the for the real agents of change does best is to strategize the business development element of how to leverage this secret niche to build your business and double your profitability, which then funds nonprofits by the, by the millions. I am the visionary in this analogy who sees the pipeline being the real agents of change, holding hands, 
positioning, partnering, and promoting together to be the flow that is so desperately needed. And you, my friend, are the real agent of change. You take the water supply and deliver it to your own people. You are the system that pipes water directly to the communities you serve. You see, when I met this group, Realty Gift Fund, I told them, I don't wanna bring you a couple of donations or even a hundred. My personal goal given to me by the universe itself for whatever reason, I still don't know, is to have 1 billion in real estate donations donated to nonprofit worldwide by 2025. I said to Bruce and all the others at Realty Gift Fund, there are 2 million realtors in this country. What if we train, teach, inform, and educate just 1% of them? What if they were to get certified, knowing that they could earn a full commission, help their nonprofits, and finally have a unique way to stand out from all the realtors they traditionally compete with? That, my friend, is proactive. On my part, for sure, but even more importantly for the realtors and the nonprofits. Instead of simply learning what charitable real estate is and how it works, which is knowing where the water source is and how to bring a bucket when it is needed or being reactive, we are leveraging charitable real estate to create the never ending flow for those who need the funding. And we are building your resources, relationships, and revenue because of it. You see, you will make money and do deals and add resources and relationships to your business and life even before a donation is made from your efforts because this is a unique conversation that no one else in your market is having. Everyone has been carrying buckets since the beginning of time. Big buckets, sure, lots of buckets, maybe, but you are bringing the pipeline of flowing, flooding funding to those who need it. And that is a conversation that will open doors, attract high net worth people who respect vision, and long before a donation is made, you will have made connections that will move your business in a massive way. There will be revenue for you because anyone who has a real estate license knows that the first rule of real estate 101 is real estate is a people business, but everyone knows a realtor or 10 or 100. So what better way to meet other human beings than by talking about what you're doing, not just what you do? Okay, let's go back and get that pen. How do I talk to people about this? What do I say to people to find a property donation? What do I say to nonprofits to have them want to simply say thank you for these big checks? See, this has been the holdup, according to these specialists who have been doing these transactions basically one at a time. And interestingly, no matter how many deals they've done, none of the realtors or nonprofits have become proactive in instigated campaigns around this. Not any that have gained any traction or momentum anyway, and this is a big problem. And it just so happens that this is my secret sauce, my superpower, what I do best, not just for myself, but for my clients going back years and years like my client, Lisa Casillo. She's a financial advisor with Edward Jones and said in a testimonial video she did for me last year, you think you know what you're doing, but then Cammie gives you her perspective and you realize you did not know what you were doing and her tweaking gives you 10 times the results you would have had. Lisa is a top producing financial advisor with Edward Jones. Now, Here's how it works. When I know who you want to do business with, like specific demographics of your ideal client, and when I know what you're passionate about, I come up with crazy good campaigns, cause marketing campaigns, 
marketing yourself and your company around a cause is super powerful. It is statistically proven that 87% of consumers, clients, and customers will choose the company, product, or service provider who is socially responsible. See, I was training and coaching real estate and financial service companies and Main Street USA businesses for years on how to do this by doing fundraisers. But now with charitable real estate, thank God, there is no more need for bake sales and barbecues or begging or ballroom functions. Here is the best news you've heard since the pandemic started. With us, there is no selling. Let me repeat that. You do not sell charitable real estate. Those who wanna make money, making a difference are a yes, please. When you play with us, when you say yes to becoming a real agent of change, when you're thinking to yourself, hmm, charitable real estate specialist, that's got a ring to it. Well, the fact is real agents of change serve. We don't sell. We connect and communicate, never convince. We attract generous high net worth property owners and visionary nonprofits we do not beg, push, pull, or persuade. And here's the proof, kind of like right now, starting right here, right now, I am informing you that we can double profitability by positioning, partnering, and promoting with the secret real estate niche that is funding nonprofits by the billions already. There is no selling, pushing, pulling, convincing, or objection handling at all. You either get it and resonate or you don't. Just like there is no need to convince property donors who love our veterans, the ones who wanna support the American Cancer Society, they love their university or their hospital, or even the ones that you don't need to convince who are wanting the tax benefits, the ones that want the estate planning, so much so that they don't even care what nonprofit the proceeds go to, they just want to get the tax write-off. So how can you stand out, be seen, be known as the contribution to the world others want to do business with? Well, you're welcome to keep learning sales scripts and role play how to handle objections and spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on SEO and Facebook ads that sound like everyone else. Or maybe you can sit at those godforsaken open houses instead of being with your family or living life. Or you could even go to lots of networking events, physical or virtual. Isn't it true? You need to meet and mingle to make money. After all, I literally wrote the book on it, Mingle to Millions, The Art and Science of Building Business Relationships and Mastering Referrals. If you haven't gotten your copy of it yet, you can get the PDF and all the videos that we took that we transcribed to create the, the, the book. You can get that for $7 or you can get a free autograph copy of it mailed to you as a bonus when you're part of the certification course. But I don't need to tell you, every networking event you go to, no matter how big or small, online or in person, you are never the only realtor. And even if you have the whole alphabet and letters behind your name of all the designations you have, everyone else has all those letters too. But the letters they don't have are these, C-R-E-S. Charitable real estate specialist. And because only 1% will ever get certified to be able to market with this prestigious acronym, you would be doing yourself a favor to do it now before we are limiting those getting certified, which will either block you from being able to get certified or it will block all the other agents in your marketplace and keep you on the pedestal you deserve to be on as an action taker, do-gooder, and real agent of change. So if you are still here, and you are, or you wouldn't have heard me say that, 
then it's time for you to decide, are you going to be blessed, bless your community, bless the nonprofits you love and be a real agent of change? Or are you gonna be cursed? You know, it can be kind of bittersweet. It's sweet to see your nonprofit actually get the funding that they so desperately need, yay! But kind of better to have to watch that agent, you know, the one, the one you don't like, being the one who is handing them the check, taking all the listings out of full commission and being praised and celebrated by the very fundraising committee you used to sit on or even lead. But alas, now that fundraising committee has been disbanded because they are now getting all the funding they need. Now they can actually play with the people, planet and pets. They are here to serve and support. So let's get to the good stuff. Over the next 15 minutes or so, I'll share what your next steps are to take action and become a real agent of change. After all, I wouldn't share all this yummy good information, all this information that it has taken me a solid year to learn just to leave you hanging in suspense. You know, like the girl at prom who has the most awesome date and she's just waiting to be kissed. So here we go, let's smooch. Okay, remember we're offering two options, charitable real estate specialist certification. Option number one is the certification class only. Option number two is the full certification course, including the business development element. So the class is a three hour live Zoom, the next one being January 5th. The live Zoom, uh, which ends with your questions being answered. And during the live Zoom, we go through concepts and the collaboration partners, who we are and how this works. We talk about the benefits and strategies of charitable real estate. We go over all kinds of details and documents that you'll need to know about the disclosures, et cetera. We even go through some tax examples and show you how a property that's valued at 1.2 million can be a value of 1.6 million by the time the donation is made and the tax advantages are, are had with this type of a transaction. We'll go through different stories and case studies from tiny homes that are donated all the way up to strip malls and office complexes. We'll even end it with how to talk to people, what to say and how to say it. So the support that you get along with the class only are three monthly Q and A's with Realty Gift Fund. The first, second and third Wednesday of the month you get together with them live and ask any questions that you have. That's it. That's all you need to know about charitable real estate. As I said in the beginning, you'll have unlocked the secret and learned the basics of charitable real estate. And you know, maybe that's all that you need to know right now. But for those of you who want to have the unfair advantage in your marketplace and leverage this knowledge to the max, here's how we do that. Let's get your super on. We are giving you a full business development plan on a silver platter. We guarantee people and property in your pipeline inside of your 30 day challenge or your money back. Here's how. You get the whole class that we just talked about and just discussed a moment ago, but now you gain access to the bonus material, including the recording of the class and the recording of all the classes. There's a property evaluation template to see if the property qualifies. There's a call sheet template to keep up with who you've called. Ladies and gentlemen, there is lifetime support with the course. You can come to this class as many times as you want and it is being given live every five weeks during the year of 2021. There are the ongoing one hour Zooms with RGF. You'll get the Mingle to Millions ebook download and you'll even get a physical copy autographed by yours truly and popped in the mail to you. Then we begin the 30 day one property away challenge portion where I not only teach you but help and guide you through the implementation process 
starting with the framework of the seven P's from purpose to payoff in 30 days. As we go through these seven P's, every day for 30 days in our private group, I'll be doing Facebook Lives at noon every day, some as short as three minutes and some as long as 20 minutes, where we're going through implementing your purpose, your presence, your interior mindset, your positioning, how you're showing up on social media, how you're talking to people, how you're introducing yourself, how you're partnering. There's so much partnering capability here. Imagine having three, five, 10, 20, 30 other businesses all partnering and promoting you as the charitable real estate specialist. And we'll be talking about what that payoff is for you. Who do you want to influence? Who do you want to have an impact on? What kind of income are you wanting to make? So that 30-day challenge is a lot of fun. You'll also receive the following material and support. Oh boy, you're going to do an interview with me on the Real Agents of Change interviews. We will provide you um, in the comments below a, the playlist of the interviews that we've already started doing with our Real Agents of Change. We will give you a press release template that will help you to send this interview in your social media, in your emails, and in a press release to all the media around your area. You'll get an email to send to get speaking engagements. There's 10 ways to double profitability. We have a really cool declaration plaque. I am a real agent of change that we'll send to you. There's a screensaver. There's a private Facebook group where you'll have questions answered. Social media campaign for 30 days is free. This is a $500 value to get the social media campaign and email campaign for the first 30 days. We load you up. And the final piece to the business development element deals with cause marketing campaigns. Now, this is a program that I taught for years before I even learned of charitable real estate, teaching these nonprofits and for-profits how to come together and partner. You know, how are you being seen? How are you communicating with intention? The psychology of cause marketing and why it's so beneficial to your business. In this program that I used to sell for 1997 alone, you will learn all different ways to find venue space for free and strategies around what's really going on here, who to talk to, what to say, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the total value for the full charitable real estate certification course is $9,415, but you're getting access to all of it for only $997. And if you don't want to expedite your launch into this hot new secret niche, this unique business proposition, then you can feel free to take the certification class alone for 197. But remember, my partners believe so completely in what we've created that whether you elect to take the class for $197 or the full course for 997, they will give you a bonus at the closing of your first charitable real estate transaction on the settlement statement, you will get your enrollment fee back. So this education and the business development plan really is free for you. And you're getting paid a full commission on that settlement. You're literally getting paid to learn how to help others get funded. Plus, we're offering a 30-day guarantee. So if you follow the course to a T and you're not satisfied with the impact it's having on your development as a charitable real estate specialist, then you'll get your money back. No questions asked. You seriously have nothing to lose. We put it all on our shoulders to make sure we deliver what you need to succeed, doubling your profitability, if not more, creating a lasting legacy becoming a hero in your community and in the world. Ah, so there you have it. Remember that 41 office, 900 plus agents broker owner I mentioned at the beginning, Jim? His wheelhouse is acquiring whole offices of agents. He invited me to inform his agents about this as he has his hands full with building his empire. 
Remember that one of our favorite mottos as the real agents of change is, do what you do best, refer the rest. The beauty of that motto is that you don't need to know all the boring details about the tax strategy or estate planning benefits. When it comes to charitable real estate, you see, Jim's superpower is taking over the offices in his market. Your superpower is listing and li liquidating real estate. Realty Gift Fund is the superhero at facilitating donations of real estate and taking care of all the complicated, boring stuff. And me, well, my superpower is in assisting you to not be a secret agent. My strength is strategy. Wonder Woman has the lasso of truth. I have the hypnotic hula hoop of happy, heart-centered healing that swirls positive energy into a vortex of communication, connection, and collaboration. We are the real agents of change, and we invite you to be the superhero your community needs. Will you accept the invitation and take a stand for all those you're here to serve? Go to camibaker.com forward slash certification to secure your seat in the course. And if you only want to do the class, send me a private message and I'll send you a PayPal link for the class only. We invite you to take a stand and it will be my honor to see you every day for 30 days as I support you to give checks to the nonprofits you love and care about. Thank you for watching.